Marv, the Nets have lost 12 in a row to the Bulls, but they got a chance tonight. They lead by 11. Scotty Pippen is ejected from the game for throwing a left hand at Rick Mahorn. It's New Jersey by 11 in the fourth. Rebound, Rick Mahorn gives him an elbow to the ribs. Ewing goes down. Two possessions later, Ewing still upset and goes for the jugular. But normally you don't... Mahorn and Ewing ejected. Meanwhile... Coleman, an innocent bystander. In the first half, then it got ugly. Rick Mahorn elbows Patrick Ewing as he comes down. Seconds later, Ewing voices his displeasure, grabs Mahorn around the throat. Both players were ejected with 106 left in the half. Not a good scene on national television. Toughest division in basketball right now. What about playing the Pistons, playing the Cavaliers? Those two teams locked horns tonight as they did Tuesday night when Rick Mahorn threw that elbow to Mark Price. $5,000 fine. Was that enough for Rick Mahorn? Well, I think the league is in a very tough spot right now because uh, as you take a look at the play right here, uh, this isn't the first time that it's happened with Rick Mahorn. A guy of his size, his strength, uh, to take a shot at a small guard like that and, and potentially end the player's career, okay, if there's damage to his eye, it could, you know, crack the cheekbone area. Uh, I think the league is eventually going to have to take a stronger stand uh, because the next step after that is the players themselves are going to get sick and tired of this happening. And I'd hate to see someone retaliate, okay, and try and wipe out a piston, okay, to even the thing up again. I don't think that's the way to do it. Uh, but it's just going to go so far of guys getting hurt on other teams where eventually one player is going to step forward as big, as strong, and is going to end one of the Pistons' careers. The ball well, so he's not pulling the trigger on it. And to Nance, he better get his now with his five fouls, and Mahorn fouls him hard. Nance and Mahorn have not been real buddy-buddy tonight. That's four personals on Mahorn. We well, see Rick Mahorn and Larry Nance talking to each other. We're going to see it right here. Rick Mahorn going to go up strong. Goes to the block. Then he gets to the body and a little extracurricular here. You're going to see him talking to each other. Nance struggling everywhere tonight. He has only four points, one rebound, and he's been struggling at the free throw line. He missed earlier. Look at Winston, now, now, he's, now he's starting to get out of his comfort zone here. He's getting ready to shoot a three-point shot. And Mahorn with a little elbow action into Craig Elo's head. That's the last thing Craig needs. He goes to the bench and Steve Kerr checks in. That's frustration right there on Craig Elo's part. He tries to jam the rebounder and see Mahorn getting his elbow up in uh, Elo's face. Sixers by five. <laughs> You know you gotta love Charles because he just loves to play. Watch a little headbutt action. <laughs> the thump and bump. Yeah. Game. In talking with Bulls and Sixers players the last couple of days, it's been made clear that this will be a very physical series. Charles Barkley was telling us last season prior to the playoff series with the Bulls, the Sixers style was actually affected by warnings from the league office. We're a very physical team. Uh, we're not dirty, but we're very physical. We don't give up layups. And I think last year, after the officials met with us and told us they were going to toss anybody who threw any hard fouls, I think we definitely got intimidated. We're not going to live with that this year. We're going to come out and play 76 or type basketball. Well, Mike, to this point, it has been quiet in that department, but the Bulls say they expect very aggressive play. From Chicago's point of view, how do you handle the, the Sixers' aggressive mentality? Expected at Cartwright, who hit his first six shots inside, and the foul, he'll go to the line for two. Bill Cartwright, a big first quarter. That's the hardest foul that Ricky Mahorn has taken in this series. I thought the other day... Philadelphia was very, very passive. It looks to me like they're going to call two in the ball for a flagrant foul here on Rick Mahorn. Two shots and possession. Let's see here. Rule that they just, that they took Bill Cartwright down. That's a week's issue of Rolling Stone. There's a picture of Lambeer and Mahorn, which they have bought the rights to this photo. And what are they going to do with it? They're going to make a bad boy poster. Not a bad idea, Brent. Leslie, it cost Isaiah Thomas $48,780 in salary to perpetuate that image. When he <laughs> broke a bone in his left hand. And uh, Morris up front. Petrovic tries the three, hit two earlier. Mason with the rebound. That's a miss, their last six. Strong move. And 
Davis draws the foul. That time he took it to the hoop. And I think he heard Pat the first time. But let's go back a moment ago to when Charles Smith thought he was going to get a sore. Instead, he winds up shooting it over the top. Comes up with it himself. You're not allowed to do that. It's got to hit the rim of backboard before he can go get it. And Anthony Mason and Rick Mahorn just had some words. The last time these two clubs met. Knicks winning 108-94 here at the Meadowlands in mid-December. It was a very testy game. Pat Riley mentioned to us prior to the game that Chuck Daly has instilled a defensive attitude in the Nets, particularly over the last month. Well, isn't it interesting that this guy coming off the floor, Rick Mahorn, just happened to show up a short while ago, part of that great defensive team from the Detroit days. And just a moment ago... Anthony Mason whispering a, a sweet nothing in the ear of Rick Mahorn. A little pushing and shoving. He just asked him how he enjoyed Italy. How was the food over there? Did he have a good time? And it's nice to have you back in the NBA. Showing Anthony is a very caring guy when it comes to Rick Mahorn. A kick out of watching Lambeer and Mahorn guarding each other. Last time down court, Lambeer gave Mahorn a forearm shiver, knocked him about two feet, and they both had big grins on their face at some battle between the two former teammates. Well, they, they will enjoy pounding on each other. They know that the officials will let them get away with it. Because, <laughs> as long know, as they only beat on each other. That's huh? right. Can't hit it. Coleman to Mahorn. Flies with Lambeer. And Rick Mahorn will shoot too. Look at the green. <laughs> In this case, he probably should have let him go. He was looking to take the hit. He might have thrown him off balance enough to miss the shot. He's coming in. Body first, shot second. <laughs> Now, Ron Rothstein Lambeer. said, you guys are having too much fun out there. You know, <laughs> this is still a game that we'd like to win. Uh, Lambeer takes the foul. Uh, he's going to lead the ball game. Randall, who really came in and played very well in that first half, is then Danny Young replaces Isaiah Thomas. Lambeer out of the game, but he gave Mahorn a little parting verbal shot. Chicago lead is seven. Offensive foul on Rick Mahorn. He went down and tried to drive. He tried to... Drive Horace Grant back, and Horace is talking to him a little bit. They go down the floor. They are trying to clean up the play away from the ball down low in the post, and that's part of what they're trying to do. Mahorn kind of hooked and elbowed right into Horace Grant, trying to drive him away. Bowie on the foul. Michael drains the three, and now what do we got? Horace Grant. Horace Grant with a technical, technical foul. Technical foul on Grant, yes. And Michael made the free throw in... Uh, 38 for Michael Jordan. And Horace Grant guilty of the technical foul. Drazen Petrovic will head to the free throw line. Now he and Mahorn are still talking at it. Still talking about it. Well, that goes back to yep. the day, Mahorn's days with the bad boys. Oh, yeah. And again, the officials confer... Jake O'Donnell with Woody Mayfield and Ken Maurer. There's Jake and Ken Maurer to the left side of your screen. Petrovich with his 21st point. His first from the free throw line is a technical shot, and they will bring it up the court. The bull Let's take a look at where the technical came from. We're on the free throw line. His shot goes up. Watch horror. Oh, he just took a shot. Yes. Yeah, he retaliated, hitting Rick McHorn in the back, but McHorn gave him a shot with, with the left, and Horace comes back into the game. Now that, that goes that stems from the uh, play a couple of possessions yeah. earlier, down low on the blocks away from the ball. Ewing with 11 points. Now the matchup is Mason against Coleman. by Coleman. Good save by Mahorn. And there will be New Jersey in possession with five on the shot clock. Butch Beard reminding his club only five seconds. A quick look at some of the highlights from the Meadowlands. A not-so-friendly rivalry developing between these two teams. Anthony Mason and Rick Mahorn exchanging pleasantries.